What's up guys, DJ Rudes here, and today we're gonna take a look at the DJ Tech Tools controller backpack. It's being marketed as the perfect backpack for DJs on the go. Let's find out how true these claims really are. I want the top. All right, so first things first, I just wanna thank the folks at DJ Tech Tools for sponsoring this blog post. Based out of San Francisco, DJ Tech Tools are pretty much the ultimate resource for DJs. In addition to getting the latest updates as to what's going on in the DJ world, you can also check out their extensive library of MIDI maps for controllers, browse their shop, or watch really well-made video tutorials made by DJs for DJs. That being said, let's jump into the review. Okay, so this is the backpack. As you guys can see, it's pretty large. You know, it is holding a DJ controller, but at the same time, it's not massive. It's a little bit bigger than my school backpack. The bag itself consists of four pockets. Okay, there's this main Velcro opening pocket here, which has a dedicated sleeve to fit a controller like the Tractor S2, and then a lot of space on the inside. In the front, there's a zipper opening pocket, that has another sleeve as well as a netted organizer and then a little business card holder on the inside. This pocket is designed to fit like a launch pad, your headphones, stuff like that. The sides of the backpack are where things get interesting. One side has a tiny compartment that's made to hold keys or an ID or a backstage pass. The other side is a super padded laptop sleeve. I have a 13 inch MacBook Pro and I could say that I feel like it's really well protected and there's a lot of room in here to spare. The back of the backpack is super well padded. It actually feels like a backpack and it doesn't really feel like I'm carrying a suitcase on my back. So like I mentioned earlier, the bag is designed with a controller like the Tractor S2 in mind. Controllers that are like similar in that size range include like the Roland 505, the DDJSB, or even like the Tractor S5. DJ Tech Tools claims that you can even fit a mixer in this main pocket, like a Tractor Z2. I haven't really done that because I keep everything in flight cases anyway, and I don't take my turntables out as much. Unfortunately though, the sleeve didn't fit my controller, the DDJ SR, which is kind of a pain because it's about half the price of the bag I'm using right now, and I was really hoping it would fit. It would be the perfect all-in-one solution otherwise. I felt bad that I couldn't fit my controller in the bag, but I still wanted to check it out in a gig environment. So I took it over to Flat Tops in Astoria where they have turntables and a mixer in-house. I tried to pack as much as I could in the bag while still remaining realistic. But before we actually dive into what I packed, let's check out some footage from that night. <laughs> Okay, so here we have the DJ Tech Tools backpack with the main compartment open. In the controller sleeve, I keep my slip mats and my control vinyls. In the main compartment, I have my emergency DJ kit and my headphones. And in this little zipper pocket here, I've got my laptop charger. All right, moving on to the zipper pocket. In the sleeve, I've got my needles, which I keep in this little case, my sound card, a force gauge for my needles, and a backup USB cable, which is actually my backup to my backup because you can never be too ready. In the organizer pocket, I keep a business card here just in case, you never know. I've got some pens and a couple of business cards. And then on the side, I've got my laptop. 100% ready to go. Because I'm a full-time student, I often find myself running from class straight to a gig. And the DJ Tech Tools backpack is actually perfect for that. The main compartment is so roomy that I can easily throw in a couple of notebooks and my planner and go from class to a gig without being that guy that juggles a million bags. Plus, because the front compartment can fit a launch pad, I can actually take my production with me and work on some projects between classes. 
Overall, I am a big fan of the DJ Tech Tools backpack, and I'd give it an 8 out of 10. The big complaint for me is that it couldn't fit my controller, but that's not a deal breaker. If you're a DJ who travels a lot and you have CDJs or turntables at the venues you play at, it's a great bag because you only need to carry your laptop, your headphones, and maybe a couple of external controllers like a Traktor F1 or a launch pad. Or if you're like me and you're a full-time student or have a day job, it's still a great bag because you can easily maintain a work-life balance without needing to carry a gazillion bags. Hit the link in the description to get this bag from DJ Tech Tools for $129. And let me know what you think in the comments. As always, remember to like, subscribe, and check out my website, djroods.com, where I recap gigs, post mixes, and explore life in DJ culture as a full-time student and a full-time DJ living in New York City. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.